Hey, what's up? It is Thursday, September 26, 2024. Um, we are doing the CER Rough Draft. I want to let you know it's at the utmost important because CERs, let me just tell y'all straight up, they count as an assessment. That means they count in your quiz and test grade. So I just want to make sure you guys are cool with that, like understanding, like, yo, it is really imperative that you... Um, Get the, the basics of these CERs down, practice them, give your best effort. Because when you do them, they're counting as a quiz or a test. So you got to take them on that serious of a level. All right, y'all, let's keep it moving. Um, make sure that you got this turn in. This was the final draft of the first month of school. This was due yesterday. This, again, was due yesterday. So make sure that you got that turned in. Also, here we are here. We are, we're having this journal check tomorrow. So tomorrow you'll be typing up. The final draft of your CER, of the one we're going to do today, and then you'll get that turned in, and then I will be checking your journals while you guys are doing that. Moving forward. Okay, cool. So get to this part of your journal, and let's just talk about this for a second. Um, in a CER, the very first thing that you're going to do is find the question. You always got to find the question first. It's just like a word problem. What are they asking me to do? What What is it that they're asking? Then I can start from there. So again, get the question first, then the next thing you're going to do is get the claim. Remember, the claim answers the question. So again, question first, then you can go to your claim because it answers the question. So what I want you to do, okay, we're going to watch this video. It's about 23 seconds. And what I want you to do is once you've watched the video, okay, uh, I, I want you to um, see if you can find the question, and then you're going to write your claim from that. So again, see if you can find your question inside the video here we go let's go oh wait there's no sound he speaks a weird sorry y'all there was no sound here we go i have evidence that proves my dad's a space alien he speaks a weird language uh, he drinks green stuff he says he's from albuquerque i'm not buying it i mean just look at him and one more thing he has a spaceship All right, cool. So, question, question, question. What is the question? That's the question. Hopefully, you've come up with the idea that um, is her dad an alien? Hopefully, that's about the question that you've come to. So, it should be something here. I don't know. Is the girl's dad an alien? That that that's is the girl's dad an alien? And then my claim is. Her dad is an alien. So that's what I'm claiming. So again, is the girl's dad an alien? And then my claim is her dad is an alien. You could have claimed her dad is not an alien. That would have also been fine. But again, either way, our claims do not have to necessarily match. Okay? So you got to think about it in the ways of science. Every time scientists are going to look at data, they're going to look at information, they're not always going to come to the same conclusion. So again, the question is, is this girl's dad or is the girl's dad, is her dad an alien? And then the thing is, you're going to say either her dad is an alien or her dad is not an alien. Those are the two ways that you can claim because the claim has to answer the question. So just just remember that the claim has to answer the question. All right, y'all, let's move to the next little portion here. Okay, so we're going to watch this video one more time. This time, what I want you to do is I want you to watch the video and just list out all the evidence. Remember, the evidence is not an explanation. I just want you to list all the pieces of evidence that are inside of the video. Okay, we're not putting this in our evidence boxes, nothing like that. You're just going to list out all the different pieces of evidence that you see in the video. All right, play it again. Roll it. I don't know why it always does that. I don't know why it always does that. I have evidence that proves my dad's a space alien. He speaks a weird language. Uh, he drinks green stuff. He says he's from Albuquerque. I'm not buying it. I mean, just look at him. And one more thing, he has a spaceship. The evidence doesn't lie. My dad's an alien. Okay, I'm going to pause this so I can pull up another screen. Okay, so let's just put right here, I'm just going to put evidence, and let's just look at all the evidence. All right, one piece of evidence is, right, that he drinks, I'm going to put drinks, green 
stuff. Okay, cool. That was one. Um, another thing, some some people said he hey, stares, because she saw him staring, stares into night sky. All right, cool. She also said speaks weird language, right? Weird or unknown. Oh, I'm not, that's not, that's not that good right there. Language. Yee, my writing. Okay. Another thing that, that was said was he drives spaceship, drives a spaceship, right? I should put a spaceship. All right, cool. So drives a spaceship. All right. Another thing that was said was that, um, stairs nice guy. Da, da. Oh, he, okay. We see, we got, he drinks the green stuff, stares the nice guy, speaks a weird language, drives a spaceship. We also said that he, dresses right people said he dresses dresses weird right or has a weird dress okay and then the last one is from and i, I had to look this up because this word is hard from al but let me let me make sure it's bu b u k u e ker key albuquerque new mexico okay those are all some of the evidences that were pulled out. Someone else said he's really tall. Someone else said he walks really weird because he's moving all slow and kind of robotic. Those are some more evidence. So again, we're just listing out the evidence. The next thing you want to do is look at that evidence, right? After you have that listed down and you want to pick the three pieces of evidence that you feel best support your claim, okay? So we're just going to scroll down just a little bit and here are the three that I picked. My claim is her dad is an alien, and then I said he has a spaceship or drives a spaceship. He stares into the night sky, and he said he's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, you've got to pick the three that you believe are going to best support your claim, okay? Cool. Next thing we are going to do is now it's time for the reasoning, okay? And what you want to do with the reasoning is you need to now say, how does this, how does this right here, how does this evidence right here, how does it support the claim? So how does this evidence here support that claim, okay? So something you could say to support that claim is he drives a spaceship that is alien technology. See how that supports the claim that her dad is an alien. So let's just say I said her dad was not an alien. We would say, she says he drives a spaceship, but it's really a car with a lot of technology in it. There you go. So again, that would be evidence towards he's not an alien. Again, you need to put what whichever one will support, and then you need to explain. Make sure in your reasoning sentences, so you're going to put three reasoning sentences here. Each one should have in it your evidence and then explaining how that evidence, connecting it to how it supports your claim. So please go ahead and take the time to get those three sentences down, and then we will look at some examples, okay? Fam, did you really do that? Did you did you write your sentences? Don't, don't try and go forward in the video and just copy my sentences down. You need to write the sentences that support the evidence that you chose and then um, actually support your claim, okay? Make sure you handle that. All right, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Okay, so now let me show you mine. So then I said, her dad drives a spaceship. That is alien technology, okay? I also said he stares into the night sky because he misses his home that's on another planet. Again, the, the night sky, right? He stares into the night sky. That's the evidence. And then I'm explaining how that connects to my claim. Then over here is I said, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. New Mexico is an alien hot spot, right? Like when I say that, I'm saying like, yo, New Mexico is widely known for alien conspiracy theories. People believe aliens are crashed there. New Mexico is like one of the most popular states for alien and UFO sightings. So we're saying, yo, if it's someone who we think is an alien and they're from New Mexico, that fits, that fits, okay? The only alien style McDonald's in the world is in New Mexico. So what we just we're just putting all the evidence together, okay? Now 
once you've got all of that done, what you're going to do, right? Like once you got all three of those done and you want to write really good sentences, because I'm telling you, the better these reasoning sentences are, the, the easier your last paragraph will actually be. So let's just go ahead and get this done. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, hold on, let me, let me pause. Okay. Before we go too fast, I just want to slow down for a second and say, we went over what a five um, sentence paragraph should look like. More or less, your CR is a five sentence paragraph. It probably is going to be closer to five to eight sentences, which is totally cool. So you want to write an interesting topic sentence. The topic sentence should have to do, okay, again, it's interest, it's in introducing the topic. Again, the topic here is, is her dad an alien, right? Like we're trying to determine whether her dad is an alien or not. That is the topic of this CER, right? So then we're going to write our three detailed sentences. Those are going to be our three reasoning sentences with the evidence in them. Then we'll write a closing sentence and that will restate the topic. If you notice, she actually did that in the video. She says, um, <clears throat> I have evidence that my dad is an alien. Then at the very end, she comes back and she says, the evidence doesn't lie. My dad is an alien. See how she has restated her claim from the very beginning. And this is the way you can kind of do this. I like to put the question at the beginning, right? Like restated version of the question. And then I like the conclusion at the end. That's what I like. Again, you can put like, like she put her claim at the beginning and at the, she put her claim at the beginning and she put it at the end. Totally cool as well to do it that way. All right. Um, let's just take a look at this and see how I did this. Okay. So. For the opening and period number seven, they named they named her Sharkisha. Okay, so she's Sharkisha. So Sharkisha thinks. Oh, and I gotta cross my T. I gotta do that. So Sharkisha thinks. Right, this is my opening sentence. Sharkisha thinks her dad is an alien. Let's take a look at the evidence. That is my topic sentence, and it's really two sentences, but that's okay. That's why I said sometimes it may end up that it's more sentences. So let's see how this flows, okay? And we're going to flow it together with my other sentences. So peep this out, okay? We're going to flow it together. Sharkisha thinks her dad is an alien. Let's take a look at the evidence. Her dad drives a spaceship. That is alien technology. Also, he stares into the night sky for a long time because he misses his home on another planet. Cool. Then... Lastly, he says he's from New Mexico, which is known to be a place where aliens are when they're on Earth, right? Cool. So I put all those together. And then I could say, I believe Sharkisha is right that her dad is an alien. See how now I've stated my claim. And that's how you could wrap up the whole paragraph. So what I want you to do now, you just saw the way I pieced together the paragraph and where I got everything from is I want you to go and write yourself a nice topic sentence. And here's the thing about the topic sentence. The one that I used up here, you could actually use. And with every period, we wrote a little bit of a different version of this topic sentence. So again, you could use this topic sentence. It will actually, the awesome thing about this one is it's general. So it will fit for the people who say the dad is an alien. It'll also fit for the people who say the dad is not an alien. And then as you can see, your reasoning sentences, if you wrote good ones, they will just fit right into that paragraph. And then you have your conclusion sentence restating everything and, re and making sure that you got your claim in there. So we got the question in there, we got the claim in there, and then we also have we also have our three pieces of evidence and we're connecting them to our claim. Boom, you've got a perfect CER paragraph. So I want you to write a rough draft in your journal. So again, just turn the page to the next available place and write that rough draft in your journal. So at this point, your journal should look very similar. So it should, should all be filled out. This whole section should be filled out. You should have your evidence listed. So all this section should be filled out. Your evidence should be listed. And then go ahead and write the rough draft of your paragraph right there in your journal. That's what you need to get done today. As long as you get that done, you should be good for tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to do the final draft. Again, tomorrow... We are going to do the final draft, and you got to make sure that you are good and ready to rock and roll. If you have any questions, please comment. Please let me know, and we can go from there. All right, y'all. Peace.